Hello guys, what is going on everyone? Uh, today we'll be playing the hardest challenge in all of zombie in my opinion. We'll be doing uh, like no magic uh, farm run where no magic means like there's no mystery box and no parks in one of the hardest zombie map I've ever made, farm. That, the reason why farm is harder than bars depot in my opinion is despite having parks on, farm doesn't have any place to train around properly without you being, sur being surrounded is very tight quarter map <laughs> and yeah like as you can see there's not a lot of s space to train in and th th there there is no uh, mystery box no perks nothing <laughs> so this challenge is extremely difficult I even a really good player like uh chism where i was watching one of his stream and he couldn't even make it around 10. so my goal is to at least reach round 10 and yeah and I'll call it a W or scratch it I'll even try to make it round 15 because I'm a badass so yeah I hope you enjoy this run as well uh, it's farm bit ugly because of all the fogs and I haven't learned how to remove the transit fogs yet if you guys can give me advice on like any mod that can remove it that would be greatly appreciated and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this run and see my awesome zombie skill. Even on my last video, I did not play very good. Mainly because I was confused on the new map. Like, I mean, I, I should say new, new for me. I die rise and I kind of struggle hard. <laughs> even with AN94, but anyway. Uh, this is a different day and I'm going to play well. There you go, we we're, we're made run too. <laughs> we're like 20% there. I think I think my goal is to get thing the MP5. Wait, does this map has M M14 or Olympia? It has Olympia? I, th I think that's it. No, no M14 is is it up the farm? Uh no, but yeah. Uh, also like interesting thing about transit is, tr transit was so big and you, that you had used a spot like farm where farm had nothing. I think you can build a turret, and that was it. <laughs> you, you build a turret. Uh, you have the fridge, where you can, like, uh, thing. Uh, save your weapon for next run, where you can use it. Like the fridge, where you can put your weapon there. Then use it for the next zombie game. And there you go, I'm using MP5. And I, I think that was the only purpose of the farm. So yeah, it's largely empty and useless. Kind of like most of Transit. But, an interesting thing about transit is, like, not the map itself, but there's someone, in, there's someone in the mod community that I don't know the name of, but I recently saw, like, I think it's called Return to Transit. Like, where the guy's remaking the entirety of transit, adding new location, and making the map beautiful. And I'm extremely excited for it. Like, a full size transit rework that is even better than what Treyarch can produce, in my opinion, from what I've seen from the death vlog. Anyway, it's called Return to Transit. I recommend you guys search it up and watch, watch it. Watch it. <clears throat> I don't know I'm struggling, uh, why I'm struggling to speak. And yeah, if I can remember correctly, I'll put the video in the description of the death block and I recommend all of you guys to see it. Uh, in the recent update, they made farm and damn, it looks gorgeous. Where they opened this area up where you can actually come to the sh uh, shed and they actually expanded to this area as well where they added a bunker. So yeah, I'm like really excited for it, but it's been several years and it's still not playable yet. I think one area they completed is Boss Depot, and I think they were playtesting with their Patreons, <laughs> which is fair. And they contributed to the project, and, and they should get to experience it at first hand, but yeah. I'm kind of excited to play it, like Boss Depot Survival, Boss Depot Rework, and yeah. <laughs> it shall be far greater than anything Treyarch produced in Black Ops 2. But I think Transit was a bit over ambitious for the terrible hardware of 360 and PS3 to make this huge map. But like, I, I really do hope Trek revisit Transit idea and remakes it. And it's like, dang, uh, developers quality and modders quality are different. Even if I may say, or someone else may say, like, good as Trek, but like, it's mostly about stylistic choices. Like, what the developer makes versus what fan makes are always going to be vastly different experiences. So I am excited for Transit Remake if that do happen in a future Call of Duty game 
or even like <laughs> recent rumor of like recent rumor of zombie only game that Cobb is supposedly working on but that rumor was around for a long time <laughs> I, I don't think it was just on development hell but eventually they makes zombie only game that would be exciting like with like honestly like thing uh for full, full package honestly like 12 zombie maps sh uh, for like 80 dollar canadian uh, that should be fun or i guess 6 dollar usd uh, sh uh, should be like a good deal and uh, and feeling like a complete package and yeah <laughs> i'll be happy <laughs> with so much zombie content I have a lot of point. Uh, only thing I can buy is MP5 ammo. Anyway, we're already at round five. <laughs> I'm feeling good today, and yeah, I'm halfway there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, that transit redirect should be exciting. I'm excited for a full zombie game. Even though none of this thing might be out anytime soon, because I, I think Trek announced. I mean, not Trek. Like Activision announced this year that like, there will be no new Call of Duty game. Which I'm fine with. It's like <laughs> I don't play COD games anymore. I think I only recently got back into tra like things zombies after a long time, and this is doing make content on it for some reason. Because if you didn't know, I had a different channel six years ago, six seven years ago, where I attempted to make zombie content, but that channel never worked out. <laughs> but this channel so far is doing really well. It's going out of my expectation. Like we already reached 100 subscriber. Which I can never imagine my wildest imagination to reach 100 subscriber in like a few weeks. I expected to like not reach 100 subscriber anytime soon at all. Like, like on my expectation was like taking years and years to reach 100 subscriber. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Like, I guess I'm leaving out like kind comments, and it's really encouraging me to go on. And and I think I mentioned in other video my production will all increase after December. This like thing after December my. Uh, after December, my finals will be complete for the for this semester. Then I'll be able to focus on like creating more zombie content. There you go, grab a knuckle. Grab a knuckle with a jug is sketchy at best. Yeah, I don't really trust Black Ops 2's zombie animation and their frame time. There you go, grab a knuckle, fun time. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> that's sketchy. Burning zombies. Okay, I'm not gonna let myself get cornered. Buy ammo. Oh, they don't explode if I thing kill them and grab a knuckle. Oh, that's neat. There you go. <laughs> I'm fisting everyone. Don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> we'll be around 10 in no time. <laughs> Maybe who needs park anyway? Parks are overrated, am I right? Uh, let's see. Like, when was the last time I actually played COD game? I believe it was on uh, Black Ops Three on PS Four. Was the last time I ever played thing? Uh, last time I ever played a COD game. And also Black Ops Three, I didn't even play that much. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, because like thing, aside of me playing a lot of Call of Duty, wanted by the DLC, but in Black Ops 3, even though Zombie Master, like I would say the best zombie experience you can get, <laughs> I haven't bought a single DLC for it. <laughs> but I recently got back into it on PC. <laughs> Don't ask how I got the copy of the game, so I got all the DLCs and zombies, and but I still haven't played it properly, like the Chronicles. <laughs> like Dora's and Drac, Grot, Kobe, those great maps. So maybe one day, like after my finals are done, I'll be getting back to creating more exciting content and learning those thing new maps. That are, th that looks extremely complicated. Not gonna lie. Oh, oof, that looks rough. <laughs> we we got it. We good. <laughs> don't even worry about it. I have a lot of points, but don't know where to spend them. But I think my, my main problem with Transit is like thing, even after all the annoying gameplay out of the way, but like with all the, all the annoying gameplay like Denizen, Labas, and things like that, even this fight and the unreliable bus network, yeah, th these are all that. My biggest problem with Transit is like, sure, you have like a lot of maps, <laughs> uh, like connecting, like you have like a lot of maps like town, farms, 
Lost Depot, etc. Like con connecting into like one singular map. The problem is like all those maps are shallow as fuck. Like farm, town, like these are not exceptional map by themselves. By any mean. And when you connect them together it doesn't make them exceptional either. <laughs> like it, it was like very creative and neat idea like far ahead of its time. But the execution and everything was poor. And the transfer will go down as like one of the zombies worst disaster. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, like, I, I love the concept, like, especially when I got older and started thinking more about game design, level design, and exciting dynamics in games. <laughs> but tra Transit, on the other hand, like, really cool idea. It's just a shame that it wasn't executed well. But uh, I'm excited to see what they can do with, like, the new Modern Warfare engine. To make their entire- oh fuck, I didn't pay attention. Ah, uh, bit painful. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Actually, scratch that. I'm going to make another run, and I'll see you guys in a bit.